we wanted to give people some stark images that represented climate change. We didn't want it to be too technical, we didn't want there to be too much information, and also we were very keen that we didn't want to be telling people what they should do. This is a choice that people have to make themselves. We're already seeing the impacts of climate change in India now. This wall represents two visions of the future. On this side, a world of dangerous climate change, in which the global temperature has risen by four degrees or more. On this side, a world in which the global community has acted together to tackle climate change and keep the global temperature within two degrees. A safer, more prosperous, nicer world to live in. The UN Climate Conference in Copenhagen this December is the time that we all have a chance to choose which world we want to live in. I first had the idea of using the British High Commission wall uh, when I was in holiday in Tehran. The American Embassy in Tehran hasn't been used for many years and there's graffiti all the way around the wall. And I thought, what a fantastic way of raising the profile of an issue. The whole material is uh, not only eco-friendly, but also it kind of takes the texture of the wall or the surface which it, you know, it's put on. So it looks like it's actually painted, whereas it isn't. It's almost like, like we have seen these examples of uh, people expressing their passion by tattooing their lover's name or their beloved's name on them to make a statement. Uh, here, since it's a government who is trying to make a statement about their passion, uh, thought was, can we take inspiration from there? So it's like creating a tattoo which is 600 feet and you're almost wearing it on your sleeve. Once people have seen this wall and thought a little bit about the issues, I hope that people will think about their daily actions. It is a message where I can make some difference it's like one vote in a democracy where I can make some difference in educating a handful of people maybe whoever drives past or walks past this wall that so many things are happening and uh, we are not helpless as of yet and you can still do something about it. But I also hope that people will think about the global issues, think about what the Copenhagen summit means, think about how they can make their views known to their government, whichever government that is, so that we reach a good deal at the end of the year that will take us forward into a sustainable future. This innovative idea of painting an entire wall and you can see with its length what we are heading for and what we need to do to make the picture as bright as it's been depicted here. It's a matter of concern for all of us but many of us are expressing our concern without doing much about it. We think climate change is probably the biggest threat facing humanity today and we need to deal with it together. We would love others to follow this example, whether by copying or by imitating in different ways. We think it's just important to bring home to people how massively important the issue is and try and engage them in different ways. I'm sure many people who go by here in the months to come will see this very aesthetic presentation of the, the ugly and the beautiful and they have to choose, do they want their world to be an ugly one or do they want their world to be a beautiful one? So it's meant to be a message of hope, but hope based on action, not just aspiration. And we see the Copenhagen International Meeting at the end of this year as a vital opportunity for the world as a whole to come together and agree how we should collectively deal with this threat. We will deal with it clearly in different ways because the developed world has the major responsibility for climate change, we that will have to take the bulk of responsibility in dealing with it. But clearly all countries need to work together on what is a global threat.